y'all doing? Just wanted to make a quick video today. I know I got a couple of subscribers on YouTube. It's nothing to speak of really, but uh, you probably have noticed that my video production has pretty much come to a screeching halt. You might also notice I shaved my beard off since the last time you saw me. Anyway, uh, got, you, know, you don't want to hear all my excuses, but you know, the holidays came and I still work full time and I got the flu and was sick for several weeks and we've had two freezes with uh, several days back to back below freezing temperatures as the low and that's kind of unheard of here in southern Louisiana. I can count on one hand how many times that's happened in my lifetime, in my 56 years. Anyway, I just wanted to say hi, wish everybody a happy new year. Hope everything's going well. I hate what this sun does to my glasses. You can't see my eyes, but without them, I can't see very much. I have been working on a few things. So here's an anvil I got for Christmas. Yes, it's a cheap uh, anvil, kind of like the ones you pick up at Harbor Freight. I think this one may have been ordered from Harbor Freight. Yeah, it's a, it's a Harbor Freight anvil, 55 pounds. Um, not fantastic, but it's better than the uh, piece of railroad track I was using before. You can see it's kind of scarred up already and I've only used it a couple times but the extra weight definitely helps uh, with the energy of your blows when you're trying to move metal. I actually stuck this little plate underneath it um, just to give it a little bit more height. I really would like it a little bit taller than it is. I epoxied some layers of wood together. I got two buys in the middle and then two pieces of three quarter inch. That's on an old uh, stand that I found around here that the previous owner must have left. That's, uh, this is inch and a quarter steel. So it's got some pretty good weight to it. There's a ring going around underneath that's about three eighths of an inch by three quarters of an inch. So that's pretty heavy. I added these angle iron pieces across the bottom to give it some additional support. This is just a sack of old mildew rice that was being thrown out and I stuck it on there for an extra 20 pounds of weight. Um, anyway, there it is. Uh, that's a, one of the few things I've done recently. And I have been messing around with my forge a little bit. You might have seen this in some of my previous videos. I've actually gotten better at controlling the fire here and doing some things with this. It's The fire pot's a little bit deep for certain objects. You, you know, I, I just kind of end up bending things to get the section of this steel hot that I want to heat up and then straightening it back out afterwards but um, it's working fairly well got some new coal in the other day this is the old forge that I made a while back I was gonna do a review on these quick tongs I ordered my wife ordered these for me for Christmas and uh, I got a pair that I finished over here and basically they come cut out already and then you just kind of do a few things they send you instructions on how to finish them off this one I just had to twist the nib and uh, make the hole and put the rivet in and kind of draw out the reins a little bit probably need to draw them out a little bit more but uh, I had another pair that I was messing with and I messed them up so I said well I'm not gonna do a review on something that I'm kind of not doing real good with so I skipped that <coughs> I decided to make up my own pair of bolt tongs this is I made this out of a railroad spike and uh, there's the second half of it down there on the ground. I was working on that today for about two hours and I created a stress point somehow and when I was trying to bend it I uh, broke the end that the nib off right above the boss area. So, <laughs> so I got to start all over on that but it was like 10 minutes away from being finished so uh, anyway still a rookie at all of this stuff just uh, learning how to do some things but I wanted to say hi and uh, check in with you guys because I hadn't been here in a while so who's Steve Olin <laughs> just a little sharing with you guys um, so if you're not into this kind of thing and you just came to watch somebody beat on some steel or build something you know, I'll be back Anyway, Steve Olin. Olin is my middle name, <coughs> named after a great uncle. Uh, and a couple years ago, I was uh, 
messing around trying to get some stuff started online. I had a couple of websites and accounts on every social media platform you could think of and just trying to see if there was something I could do to get a little business going online to subsidize my income a little bit. Of course the big dreams were one day be super successful and and not have to go to work every day. Anyway, I took the advice of uh, somebody with a little more experience than me and changed my name on my social media stuff uh, to my Steve Olin name, which is still my name, but it's not my first and last name. Uh, anyway, it was, uh, in her words, it was uh, more memorable or a little different, whereas uh, my name, Stephen Connell, was just not what she recommended as far as uh, PR suggestions for building an online presence. <laughs> so anyway, that's where the Steve Olin came, comes from. Um, and it's now on most of my, on a majority of my accounts, except for my personal Facebook, which is my original Facebook account. Um, so I do have a website up still. I haven't written anything and posted anything on there in quite some time. I have my YouTube channel. I, I actually have two Twitter accounts because I had one for each website a while back when I had two different blogs going. Um, I have a Snapchat, Snapchat account that I never use. And... Uh, I really like Instagram so I put a lot of stuff on Instagram and then just share it from Instagram to my Facebook and Twitter account um, anyway <clears throat> you know this is the second time around I guess I tried to get into this online thing and uh, it definitely can be done but you gotta have a lot of time to dedicate to it you know and it could be late night after you work a full day somewhere else. My full-time job just happens to be kind of a 24-hour a day on call thing and I never know when I got to be somewhere or when I might have to pick up and leave and um, so having a time gets to be a little bit more difficult but uh, this most recent uh, go-round with all of this stuff kind of started as a result of some soul searching I don't know I'm getting older whatever middle age I don't know start asking yourself some questions I was in a situation where uh, I was having some struggles at work uh, you know I've been somebody's boss for many many years but for whatever reason um, people didn't really like me a whole lot so I started kind of trying to figure out why and uh, you know figure out why and my wife used to tell me I was grouchy and one of the things that really hit home and kind of broke my heart for a while was that one day my wife told me that my kids were scared of me. So, uh, so I started doing some things to try to figure out what happiness was all about and how to uh, how to accomplish uh, being happy and not being miserable and stressed and grumpy and whatever else, intimidating and a lot of those other things people were calling me. So. Started reading books and started sh sh looking around online and kind of got into meditation. And I was raised a Christian and raised a Catholic and then kind of got into a non denominational Christian church. And so I've been kind of bounced around all the while trying to find where I felt comfortable or whatever. Uh, and this meditation thing has always appealed to me. It was my second time around kind of getting into that stuff as well. And uh, it's really helped me out a whole lot. Through that process, I started trying to become healthier, almost without even concentrating on it, just making better choices and doing different things. I ended up signing up for a website where I watched these interviews with different experts around the world on different topics, and it kind of got me on a special eating plan or a different eating plan, and I lost a bunch of weight need for medication dropped down, my diabetes got better, my health got better, and uh, my outlook and attitude got better. I uh, did start meditating quite a bit. And somebody's coming to see us. Hi, Maylin. Hi. So, it's been a, a journey the last couple years. I've been on a path, and uh, that kind of led me to start trying to get back into my uh, creativity and creative side. I've always felt like I was an artist at heart. I would draw and paint things since I was a young child. 
spent some time in some art schools and did a lot of other stuff and kind of got away from that because you get into the hustle and bustle of the world and uh, get into trying to accomplish things and acquire things and get a bigger house and get a better car and make more money and whatever and you kind of lose track of who you really are sometimes so I started exploring my uh, creative side again and that led me to get back into painting a little bit and then that led to me um, exploring different things it's like I said as far as meditation and in the meditation I became really drawn to the sound of flute music and so I started figuring trying to see if I could make a flute and uh, that led me to Native American style flutes because they're easier to play than some of the other bamboo flutes that you would see in uh, Asian countries and they have a very similar sound so I made a couple videos about making flutes and I've got probably 15 flutes hanging around the house that I made um, and then from there I uh, just started piddling around with stuff in the shop and one day I kind of got hooked on the cable show forged in fire like many other people and it kind of drew me toward the blacksmithing thing um, I've always been handy and uh, good with my hands and like creating things and it just kind of seemed to be a natural fit for me so I started out trying to make a forge out of scrap stuff that I just had laying around without spending a penny just using stuff that I had here and I forged a few things in there and then I made a couple blades and from there I uh, broke that forge down using it I you know the, the uh, refractory material I made out of cat litter and whatever else didn't hold up so I actually made myself a good coal burning forge with an electric blower motor on it so that's where we are just wanted to give you guys a little history and uh, check in with you since I hadn't been making too many videos and hopefully this uh, talking thing and a little more personal thing is uh, not going to turn you guys off too much but uh, if you're still here thanks for watching I appreciate each and every one of you Namaste, my brothers. Ah, brothers and sisters, right? <laughs> so part of the thing that's been going on with me and my YouTube channel is, you know, I never really expected to make a whole lot of money on YouTube. Uh, you know, I don't have any professional equipment. I'm recording this on my iPhone right now. I do have a camera that I've used a couple of times, and I got sort of a imitation GoPro also that I've used. Anyway, the rules on YouTube have changed recently. It used to be you had to have 10,000 views to monetize your YouTube channel. So I had a goal to get to 10,000 views so I could monetize my channel. I might have made a couple of pennies off of it, but anyway, it was a goal. YouTube since changed the rules. So uh, now you got to have a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and a minimum of 4,000 view minutes in the last 12 months. The view minutes are not a challenge for me because I end up with about 4,000 view minutes a month just from one or two decent videos or videos that get found in search a lot I guess I don't know how decent they are but 1,000 subscribers <laughs> I got 959 to go so anyway that kind of uh, you know put a damper on my YouTube goal not that I like I said not that I thought I was gonna make a bunch of money but um, it was a goal and now the goal's got to change and that's a different uh, stretch for me so I'll make some videos still just to share what's going on and what I'm up to you can kind of see by the videos on my channel that I kind of bounce around a lot you know I was making flutes and then I was getting into blacksmithing and then sometimes I do DIY stuff when I'm fixing stuff around the house and whatever so anyway we're off to a good start 2018 and hope you guys are having a happy new year and that you got some big plans for the year and that things will go well for you and your families. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to say hi. <laughs>